Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a custom annotation menu for YouTube. Uh, first off, I created a quick little video about a minute long, and it's just a still image that looks like this. It has a list of my playlists, and simple instructions, click on the playlist below. It's about one minute long, and it just plays music and just sits there on the screen. The rest of the work that I'm going to do involves uh, taking it into YouTube. So let's take it into YouTube. Okay, so I've already uploaded my menu video to YouTube and I went into my video manager and I clicked on playlists and it has a list of my playlists here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on a playlist. I already did this once for the first one. You'll see it in a second, but I'm going to click on this playlist, the title, and it's going to bring me up to uh, this list of all the videos and I'm going to click play all right here and then it brings me to my playlist page what I want to do is I want to copy the URL to this playlist so I'm going to select all the text and I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go back to my video manager and I'm going to go to my menu here's my menu and I'm gonna edit the menu and then I'm gonna go to annotations right up here and it's gonna start up my video here and I already have one annotation right here it's up here at the top I'm gonna do that again and I'm gonna do it actually for all four of these uh, menu items right here so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click add annotation that's right up here and I'm doing a spotlight annotation and then I'm going to move these corners till I get them where I want and I like a nice red background and I'm gonna have black text and I'm gonna type my text right here in the spotlight button and let's see this is for how to use GarageBand so I'm gonna do GarageBand help and that's showing up right here so I'm gonna move that over here and I'm going to fix this corner a little bit. There we go. And see, the annotation shows up down here near the bottom. And I want it to last the whole entire length of my video, so I'm going to stretch this out for the whole entire length of the video. And then it asks me, uh, do I want to make it go to a link? And yes, I do. When people click this, it's going to go to a link. And that link is the playlist URL that I copied a second ago. So I'm going to paste that in. And there it is. I can even preview the link if I want, but I already checked it, so I'm okay. And then I'm going to click Save. And I'm going to do this for every one of my videos. So now what I have to do is I'm going to go back to my playlist. Back again to my playlist. And now I'm going to click on the shopping cart, help one, play all. And I'm going to first pause it. Then again, I'm going to copy URL, copy, go back to my video manager, whoops, I guess I didn't really need to go back to the video manager, I could have added another annotation in there, but I'm just doing it the long way, so I'm going back to annotations, and let me uh, click pause when this comes up, and now I'm going to add another annotation, another spotlight, I'm going to... I'm going to put it so I can actually see the screen a little bit. There we go. I'm going to move the checkbox, move the checkbox here until it gets all of this. And again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make it nice red. I want black text. This is shopping cart help, so I'm going to do shopping, if I can spell it, cart help. And then I'm going to click link, add the link, paste the link in make this as long as I possibly can and I'm going to move the word shopping cart help up to here and then I'm going to click save and then we do it all over again we go back to our playlist and what I'm doing is I have different tabs open so I can bounce back and forth really quickly and really easily between my getting my URL and then going back to the annotations so here's the last one copy I used the keyboard shortcut to copy that time and I'm going to add another annotation, another spotlight video, put it down 
here for the last one. Again, make it nice and red. This is easy video player. Oops. Okay. Okay, this is easy video player. Capitalize. And I pasted the link in there. I want to make sure that it's a full length amount of time. Then I'm going to click save. See the save button? It's already saved. And then I'm going to click publish. Okay, so I'm going to view my video and let's see what happens. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So my video is playing, and all of these are clickable. <coughs> However, I'm missing the text for these two. So I'm going to go back into my annotations. Let's edit this. And what's nice is I can go right here by clicking this button. OK. GarageBand works. Easy video player works. Except I didn't see it before, which is interesting. So we're going to have to learn, figure out what's up with that. Shopping cart. GarageBand, Easy Video Player, and YouTube. They seem to all be working, so let's click Save and take a look at it again. And after a few minor tweaks, now I have, you can see on the bottom of the screen, the title of each one of these clickable links. These all go to different playlists. And this just sits on the screen and lets people choose a playlist to watch. It's like a menu on a DVD. So if I click one of these, it's going to take me to that link. And here it is. Here's my playlist. Here's my shopping cart playlist. Here it is. Of course, I have an ad on it. Here's the all the different videos in my playlist. So it's a nice little thing to do with annotations. You can make a menu, basically, for anything, uh, any of your other videos. Um, not only does it help optimize it, you have more keywords in the playlist menu, but uh, also it's kind of a neat thing and makes people, uh, some people find it very handy and easy to use and they appreciate it. So uh, it just helps you make another video and it helps you, your viewers get to where you want them to go. So give it a shot. Make an annotation menu and uh, let me know how it works.